guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. So today's video is the first in a new series that I'm doing here on my channel called WTF Wednesdays or What The Wednesdays. <laughs> Basically, this series is going to be about trying new products that might seem a little gimmicky, trying really weird hacks that you might have read somewhere online, all types of like really weird like WTF things. And then basically, I'm going to be your guinea pig and I'm going to show you whether or not they work and probably put my face through a lot of weird things that my face doesn't want to go through. <laughs> the first video in this series, as you can probably tell by the title, I am going to be trying deodorant on my face through my T-zone as a primer to see whether this helps control my oily skin. Now I know that that sounds completely mental and you're probably like, what, where did you get that idea? But bear with me, for probably maybe three weeks now, Brandon has been saying to me, I wonder what would happen if you put deodorant on your face? And I was like, ow. <laughs> I was like, why would anybody even think of putting deodorant on their face? That is so weird, Brandon. You are weird. So in this video today, I'm going to apply deodorant, this one here, um, through my T-zone. So on my forehead, down my nose, top of my lip, um, my chin, and maybe a little bit on the sides of my nose as well. And we are going to give this a real run for its money and see whether or not this controls my excessive oil production. So if you're interested in hearing whether this hack actually works or not, then please keep on watching. Um, I'm going to use this Rexona Clinical Protection Antiperspirant Deodorant. Um, <laughs> this says it's dermatologist tested, so I'm hoping it mightn't be too bad for my skin. I mean, we're about to find out. Um, this is like more of like a cream formula. So yeah, I'm essentially going to apply this through my T-zone, so my forehead, down my nose, maybe underneath my nose and on my chin. And then we're going to come back later on in the day and see what my face is looking like and if this works. I probably should have checked on YouTube to see if anyone else had done this. I've got no idea. Just remember Brandon was like obsessed with me trying it. And actually I did get a few comments on some recent videos asking if I'd ever done it and you know, my thoughts on it. So let's just put this straight on. I'm assuming I have to apply this before my primer. So that's what we're gonna do. Taking the deodorant and I'm gonna put it through my T-zone. I'm going to prime the rest of my face normally, but I'll do that later. Oh, that's weird. Okay, it definitely doesn't work with a brush. I'm going to have to use my fingers. Um, okay, it nearly actually gives my skin... You know how you get like those pore minimizing primers that sometimes look... Um, you know, like they, they sort of smooth your skin out? kind of gives my skin that look. And don't mind the redness. My skin always goes really red when I apply products. Don't stress. Taking some more. I'm going to put that on my chin now. Oh, it feels really weird. My face smells like a man, which isn't always a bad thing, is it? <laughs> now I'll just do the sides of my nose as well because why not? I haven't put much on, only a tiny little bit. I'm assuming if this is going to work... It needs to only be in very, very, very small amounts. It says on the back, clinical strength wetness protection. I mean, come on. Come on. <laughs> That's done. I'm going to go ahead and prime the rest of my face now. Um, I'm just using the Kat Von D Locket Primer. I've been enjoying this one lately. Uh, I'm just going to sort of put that sort of in all the areas where I didn't apply the deodorant. And then going with my foundation, I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is my holy grail foundation for oily skin, best ever. I've done stacks of reviews and videos talking about this product. I will link them in the description bar below if you are interested in seeing them. But um, I feel like it's the best test if we use like my already holy grail foundation. Putting that on a brush, I'm going to start to put it on my face. I'll be interested to see how this actually blends over top of the deodorant, like whether or not it makes a difference to the blending. We shall see. Oh yeah. Doesn't seem to make a difference, to be honest. It might be a little bit harder to blend out over top of the areas where the deodorant is. Fair enough, because they are pretty dry. Which... I'm not gonna lie, it's not a bad thing. I'm normally glowing like a disco ball by about lunchtime with my oil production, so we'll see if this makes any difference. Imagine I do this and then like tomorrow I've just got like a rash. <laughs> if I do, I will update you guys. <laughs> okay, so that is what my face is currently looking like. 
To be honest, it doesn't look any different to um, how it looks with a regular primer, so I'm not concerned yet, but I might be concerned later. It's not patchy. The product still adhered over top of the deodorant really well. So yeah, looks pretty good so far. I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup off camera and then I'll come back to show you guys what it all looks like and update you and then I'm going to come back later on at the end of the day so it's only 10 30 in the morning here so I'm going to come back maybe I don't know about eight o'clock tonight and then I will show you guys um how the oil's going and whether or not the deodorant made a difference through my teaser and so yeah stay tuned for that all right so fast forward a couple of hours because I got a little bit distracted it is now, let me turn my phone on, 3.08 p.m. So I have had this face of makeup on for, what, like four, five hours now? Um, okay, we need to discuss this. Let me zoom you in so I can show you the skin quickly. So this is what my skin is currently looking like. So I obviously applied the uh, deodorant down the T-zone only. So I put it on my forehead, my nose, my top lip, and my chin, and then I sort of spread it um, out on the sides of my nose a little bit. I then went in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which I showed you guys. I then went in with my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder, and I used a beauty blender to press this into the skin. Now, I've also added a tiny little bit of highlight on the end of my nose there, but... Guys, it's working! My skin is so matte. Like, for four hours of wear, this is insane. Have a look at my T-zone. Have a look at that. Oh, the excitement is real. Now, I've got to tell you, we'll zoom back out because this is getting a little, a little bit too close and personal, isn't it? No, I've got to tell you, I did have to be extra careful blending out the foundation through the T-zone. Um, and when I was setting um, with the powder, um, I had to just like really be careful to not wipe. I had to sort of press it down as opposed to, you know, like wiping it at all so that it didn't shift any of the product. Now, I don't think that my nose, where is a mirror? My nose looks no different to how it normally would. My forehead looks no different. Oh, actually, my forehead's creased a little bit, to be honest. So just up here, I've got a few creases. Um, I'm an oily skin type, so I typically never get creases on my forehead. It just goes greasy. Um, I can't even believe this. It might look a little cakey on the top lip, actually. A little bit cakey than I would probably like. My chin looks completely normal, like how it normally would, and so does my nose. So... Dang girl, dang, it is working. This might be my new best friend. Probably not something that you want to do every single day. I probably would nearly guarantee it is not good for your skin, but as a once off, you know, for an event, um, or you've got like a particular, like, like a wedding, for example, if you've got to go to a wedding, you know, and you've got to get ready early in the day and be there all day and all night and you don't want to look like a hot, greasy mess, this might be very good. But um, I'm going to update you guys one more time. So I'm going to go now, go about my merry business. <laughs> and I'm going to come back later on tonight and give you guys another quick update on how this is wearing. So far, I can't even believe it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> but yeah, I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Okay, so it is quarter to nine at night here now, guys. And this is what my skin is looking like. I gotta tell you, I am pretty impressed with this. Um, you couldn't say that I have produced no oil through the T zone. Like, I'm definitely a little oily, but I am certainly not as oily as I would normally be. Um, my nose also doesn't look cakey. My chin doesn't look cakey. I've still got that creasing on my forehead, like I did earlier, like I said. But realistically, I'd rather a little bit of creasing and a lot less oil, you know, as far as the scale of things go. And if you sort of look at my cheeks and like sort of around here, this very like flares of my nose, my cheeks, along my chin here, even up here, like I'm a lot oilier than I am through my T-zone. I'll zoom you guys in quickly so that you can see what it looks like close up. So this is what my skin is looking like. So yeah, applied it at 10.30 this morning. It is now quarter to nine, so that's nearly 12 hours. T-zone is looking good. See, so yeah, like I'm quite oily sort of here, uh, you know, on my cheeks and whatnot. But yeah, it definitely works. Like it definitely works. You know, it's got me thinking, I wonder what it would work like as an eyeshadow primer. Hmm. 
Maybe I'll try that next, but as far as it goes for mattifying the T-zone, it definitely works. Um, I haven't had any itchiness or redness or rashes or anything yet. <laughs> like I said, if I get any strange breakouts from doing this, any rashes or any redness, I will let you guys know. I am going to go and remove this makeup after I finish filming this video, so... We will see what my skin is looking like underneath. So like I said earlier in the video, this is probably not something that you're going to want to do every single day. But by all means, if you don't have sensitive skin and you want to, I mean, it's your face. You do whatever you want with your face. But I think it will be really fantastic for a special event or, you know, like if you've got to go and look particularly beautiful and oil free in really hot weather just as a once off. I don't think it'll hurt anyone. So yeah, I've officially tried antiperspirant deodorant on my face as a primer for oily skin and it works. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please leave me your thoughts in the comment section down below and also leave me any requests that you might have for WTF Wednesdays. I hope you guys really enjoy the new series. I love you all so much and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to keep the makeup on your nose in place all day long. It can sometimes be a real struggle to stop your makeup from sliding and rubbing off your nose throughout the day. And I know I've been the girl, I've looked in the mirror and you know, I've got this full coverage face of makeup and 